What is going on, y'all? And welcome to our weekly grass update. This is the fertilizer update. Seven days since we put three different fertilizers down to test. And in today's episode, we're going to take a look and see what the first seven days look like with each one. So the first plot, we are going to talk about the Scott's fertilizer that we put down. This was a starter fertilizer in an area where we had a little bit of seed. This is not the uh, best area in the yard. It had new seed down. It doesn't have the best sprinkler coverage. We're going to get a few more sprinklers put in over the next few weeks. I've talked to my landscaper. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put two more along the fence line that spray out into that area. That way we get a little better coverage. And I'm going to throw up a little footage of it. You can kind of see uh, we still have some of the dry fertilizer down where it didn't get watered in, and that's a little bit of an issue. It also was the same over here where we have the Andersons. So that line in between the Andersons and the Scots, there is a little bit of an area where the fertilizer didn't get watered in, so we're not going to judge those when we look at the results from this fertilizer test. And then there's the part over here on the far lawn, which is getting great water right now. That's where we put the nitro foss down, and we also put the nitro foss on the rest of the lawn. We've increased our water. So if you see right here, right here, there's going to be a little bit of brown spot where we went on vacation, we had some things happen, we weren't home that often, and I had my watering turned to 100% when I should have turned it up to 120 to 130% seasonally. Although I really don't like having three, four, five hundred dollar water bills, if we are going to try and keep our grass alive and thriving, that's what it's going to take. We're going to do it. Now, one of the things that you will notice is up here on the house area grass where it's built up, that was actually select fill dirt that was brought in to raise the level of the home so we could get good drainage when we built it. Uh, back here on the back 40, you can see the grass is a lot greener. This was actually old hay and rice fields, so this is going to be natural topsoil. So we're getting a lot more nutrients in the top of this grass. That's one of the reasons that over the next few months and years, especially this winter, we're going to be putting a lot of humic acid down on that select fill because humic acid will actually help take that and turn it into this. It'll help change the actual density of the lawn. It'll get better water usage. You'll get more nutrient holding in it. So it'll do a lot to transform the actual dirt itself, make it have the ability to be much more nutrient dense and use less water and hold more nutrients from our fertilizer. All right, so let's take a look at the Scots where we have the water that was actually permeating the soil and we didn't have a lot of dry up. And that's gonna be right here. We had really good results with the Scots starter fur. It did great on the sod itself where the sodded area was, and it did good out here on the unsodded area where we did where we had the grass seed down that had not yet taken because of watering issues. So we got part of those fixed by extending the time, but this part up here is where it's too dry, so we're not going to judge that. So overall, seven days in, I would say the Scots did a good job. It's got a great takeoff, and uh, we're going to judge it over the next seven days and see what it does in days seven through 14. Next, we're going to talk about the Andersons. So this is the Andersons with Humic DG. It did a good job, same thing, very similar to the Scots, in the areas where we didn't have sprinkler and water issues. It has been dry for 21 days and over 100 degrees for the last 21 days with no rain here in southeast Texas. So we're literally judging these based on what they can do in drought conditions, and I think that's a really good way to judge them. The Andersons did a really good job keeping the grass green. It's got a deep, dark green to it. It's a very fine pellet, so it didn't take much to water it in. Uh, like I said, we had the same problems over here where we didn't get enough water, but we're adding two sprinkler heads. But over here where we actually had enough uh, water, it looks really good. So the Andersons did a great job. Definitely going to use that again. Uh, big fan. Now we're going to talk about the Nitrofoss. Nitrofoss is one I've been a fan of for years. Uh, I can't link to it. I can't let you log in and buy it through an affiliate link. However, I'm going to say it's doing the best seven days in. This is obviously unbiased content. If you look behind me, this grass is deep green. It's growing very well. Now, to be fair, it does have the best sprinkler coverage of the entire yard. There's also two septic heads over here, uh, but there's also a septic head in the area where the Andersons is, and it's not doing quite as well. So the Nitro Foss is going to be my week one winner. Uh, it's doing a great job. Really excited for uh, what it's doing on the whole yard. I'm going to go ahead and do a little walk around here. Let y'all take a look at it, but really excited with what it's doing, and it's helping us really get rid of some of that brownout as long as we can get enough water on it. So for week one, we're actually going to rank them in order, and seven days into this experiment, uh, now obviously we've kicked up our water, so we'll see what happens over the next few weeks, but week one is going to be Nitrofoss first, the Andersons second, Scott's third, but it's a really close tie between Scott's and the Andersons. 
Uh, and that's just because we're using a starter fertilizer and a slow release fertilizer. But I think both are really good options depending on your budget, your timeline, and if it's new grass or established grass. So with that, I really appreciate you watching. Next week, we're going to have another update seven days from now and do a 14-day update. But in the meantime, we are going to have a new mowing vlog out sometime Sunday or Monday. Uh, we've got some new equipment. We're going to try out, test it, and review it. We have a new steel weed eater and multi-tool. It's got the edger with it, so we're going to talk about that a little bit. Uh, but as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.